What's up, boys and girls? Welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. All right, BFF's new episode, uh, and, and people have been waiting. I'm getting hit up all over the place because we were out to dinner and said yeah. we're doing the emergency episode. People want it. Yeah, so everyone's like waiting, waiting, waiting. And, and first of all, thank you, because our views are like through the roof. <laughs> It's like a million views expense. now on, on YouTube, guaranteed, podcast huge. This will be our biggest one ever, I'm guessing, because everyone's kind of waiting to hear your yeah. mm -hmm. side of things, your take, the whole Jaden, obviously, Nessa, you. Griffin comes in, we invited him, and he's like, oh, fuck shit up, oh, fuck shit up. You brought in the big guns. I mean, so he's I, mean I have to, you know, toe a line for, for No, Josh 100%, and, you know, and we're the same. So, you know, it's been a wild couple weeks, and... and here we are, and here's where we know the situation. So Nessa and Jaden are dating, that's obvious. We all know that now. Mm -hmm. uh, Mads went on Call Her Daddy yesterday, and let's set the stage here. There's so many, I, I, I wanna keep it clear, but we're in an interesting spot because you guys are obviously good friends, yeah. we're friends, yeah. and you're at the center of it, so there's real like human emotion going on, even though I have some people been like, this is a total work. Like they're doing this, they think you're on I wish it was a word. I know, because it comes <laughs> out right when their wish. song does. So, and to give people an idea like where we're at, we were gonna have Mads on BFFs. But I was like, fuck no. Right, it's like, I wanted to keep shit out. like offline. That was like my whole thing. Like I was like, I didn't want it to be like a big thing all over the internet. Like, it's weird because I think people think like, you think I want to go on my phone and like scroll through and see this shit all day? Like, no. Right. Like, you know what I mean? So it was like, I think that's why even like, like the BFFs post, people don't know we don't really post for BFFs. Like we don't do that. That's why you commented like the BFF, scum. and you're talking the BFFs Instagram, yeah, which we Instagram. said mm -hmm. like we have there's Barcelona people who are savages. We're we're internet savages, but like you and I have nothing to do the three of us with what's posted there. Mm -hmm. So there were some just, like fucked posts, and you were like, so then we "This is a like scumbag move right. or some shit like that," because they were like it kind of just like. It's like they're just like putting out Their more views. shit for me to see, and it's yeah. just like what the fuck. And, and, and yeah. their motivation is just like what's gonna get clicks, what's gonna get views, and they don't. And I, we are whenever it's somebody in your close circle, it gets a little weird. Now it's doubly weird because we're a podcast, like we're just gonna sling it and get everybody else's drama on, and then bang, the guy that we're doing with is the <laughs> center of the world. What I want to say, you. Vin Dog, let me down a little bit. The memes were. Oh, I thought his memes were on point. That's how he. That's how he. You, you gotta but just that's understand the style his of them. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's yeah. how he The does last that. time he went into, and you called him out to like go crazy on Twitter, it was insane. I mean, I, his memes are, are like PG, that's what makes them work. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> and there is a part of me too, I didn't even say it's like, Dave, what deal with the devil did you sign? That's like, we launched this TikTok podcast, not knowing much about anything. Yeah. And then by far the number one controversy that's happened since we've been doing it, it's <laughs> like, it's you, it's the girl, it's Nessa we've had on like two times, like she's the only TikTok girl I even know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, and here we are. So having said that, we gotta get into this stuff. I think my first question and where we're going back and forth is, I think there is back and forth on Jaden seemingly being like, I don't know why, because I was started going after him a little bit. Like, I don't know what Dave or people are getting mad at. Josh has known. Like, that seems to be like we talked yeah. it out. On like, his live stream. Correct. So, what, what, like, where are we at with that? So, like, to, like I, I, I knew that they kind of, like, liked each other. Not when I was on the podcast. Like, I wasn't lying when I was on the pod. I, I just did kind of believe that Mads was, like, lying. And, stuff. and by the way, shout out Mads, like, she she got roasted. Everyone's yeah. like she's crazy. Yeah, she she, oh, she, she took some heat. She's yeah. yeah, but at the same accurate. time though, like it didn't have to be put to social media like right away. Like right. that's the one thing. Like it was like, uh, let me just bring the social media and shit on everyone's lives. It's like holy fuck, bro. Like let's just like try to figure it out. Like we didn't even have it figured out between us four or like the friend group or whatever. So it's like how are we gonna start throwing shit on social media when we don't even know what's going on? You know what I mean? It's just like that's but so, where, but that's where like shitty that assumptions video? come out. That's where like like people are like. They're, they've been fucking for weeks. They've been fucking for months before Josh and Ness. Like, no, that didn't happen. Like, it was like we broke up, then they became a thing. And it's like, it, it's like, whatever. I'm, I'm moving on from it. They're moving in their way. And like, for me, I'm just like, I wish the best. That's that. Okay. 
So you're standing by, then, you, you, and your belief is that you guys broke up, and then they started dating all on the up and up, is what you just said. Yep. So then, like, are you mad at Jay? First of all, I'm not sure I believe that, but do you, do you are you fine with them then? Do you think there was any, like, wrongdoing in it? Or I mean, just... I think that, like, I don't, I don't think anything that they tried to do is like malicious against me. I think that it's, it's just like, it, we're all, like the thing is we're all like 19 year olds too. Like we're all young as fuck just trying to figure shit out. Like this is a part of life, this is what happens. So I think as we're just all figuring out making these like mistakes or like I made a bunch of mistakes like through my relationship with Ness too. Like I wasn't the, the greatest stand up guy in the world. Like I'm, I would admit that. Mm -hmm. And I think it's like, I, I just hate seeing it turn into like a, team this or team that it's like no bro two people just like or three people four just got their like hearts broken or like some shit in their lives that it's like it's really affecting them so it's like i don't want now it to become a game of like let's shit on each other and let's go out and have these teams and wars and hashtags it's like that's not what i want that makes sense yeah i mean it's a super mature way to look at it my main thing with like <laughs> Jaden yeah. wow. and I, I'm not gonna ever say anything about Nessie. She's too young. I don't like as a teenage girl and all that. So whatever. She does her own thing. But like the the thing that kind of put me over the edge was Jade and I saw an over the edge. I should say that like respectfully. I still get my age difference. A little weird comment. And you're in on it. But it's like they did that interview and he's like, we're just trying to handle this privately and respectfully when they're out to dinner on like, I don't know, the Sunset Strip or somewhere, <laughs> where there's right paparazzi <laughs> yeah. there and it's like they're making out, they're hanging out. So there's nothing private in my mind or respectful about like, all right, I get, it. you know, you, you, you don't intend to like who you like, mm -hmm. things happen, they're spending a lot of time, it's like they're making a song, it's dancing with the stars except real life yeah. and you fall for each other and it gets weird because you're in the middle of it. But there's got to be a way to like, even if you knew not to be so blatant and then be like, we're handling it privately. Well, they're not. Well, I think the problem is, is like, they also didn't really get the opportunity to handle it privately because Mads went out right away and said stuff. And I'm not like, again, I don't want to be like seen as like against Mads or against them or against anyone. It's just like everyone was put in a weird ass situation because this was instantly brought to social media first when like people didn't know, like I, I didn't know, full, people didn't know full but, stories. But so weren't it was like, Mads and Jaden still dating when he like was with Nessa? No. No? No. I thought that's what she said on Call Her Daddy. I might be like slow here, phone. but they're like actually officially dating. Yes. Yeah. That's what like people are Confirmed. saying. I mean, they made out. The star. We have videos of them making out, of them holding hands, of like someone outside the paparazzi is like, are you guys, uh, you know, I just, is this a couple? I just Where have you been? No, I just don't understand <laughs> though how people can actually officially date within like a two weeks like span. Yeah. Well, that's the it's thing. It's like, what? Like, it just doesn't. The, it, well, I, I, didn't, I didn't think that people said it was officially. I thought that was just like Keemstar saying they were like, they liked each other. Well, they made, there's video of them making out. And I, it's like, no, I thought the, it was like uh, he like kissed her on the head or some shit. Like that. There's another one. Oh, that's oh true. my god. And they got matching awesome. tattoos. Yes, yeah, was, and they got matching tattoos. Did you know always that? Always a great idea. So, all right, well, this is where it's like, like always, always, always a great idea. Too. That's his move. He <laughs> oh loves to get god. the matching tattoos. So, so, all right, we have to ask, but this is where it gets like awkward because I like you, but if it's like if someone else sitting there, like what, what Griffin just said. There's not a party that is like, they're just both full of shit. Like this, how did we go from, they weren't dating at all when we were together, to we broke up and they're getting matching tattoos and openly being, like it all seems, I mean, if it was someone in my shoes, I wouldn't believe it. I'd be like, you guys are full of fucking shit. Mm -hmm. And this is like my friend, so what else are you gonna say or do to make it seem not as, I guess, like bad? Yeah, I mean like. And I don't mean it to be like, I just feel like people listening from the outside, like what you just said, be like, come on, like, wake I mean, up a little bit. If you bit. were actually friends, regardless of who you like, I don't think he would date your ex-girlfriend that well, you claim to love so much, like loved so much, you know? I think uh, if he actually cared about shitty, you, bro. he would. I do. <laughs> these, uh, these TikTok people are on a different wave, I'm telling you. So what do you they're think? You, you, you're, they're the closest out of this situation, besides obviously Josh, and I know you have strong feelings. What do you think? I mean, 
if I'm being completely transparent, it just seems like some weird shit going on. Like, I it doesn't make sense in my head because I could never see a girl and then date her and get a matching tattoo within two weeks. Like, I would... Like, I wouldn't do it regardless if it was two years, but, like, I don't know. It's just a whole weird, it's just a weird thing. I mean, it's also just, like, they're obviously going through (laughs) shit, too, right? Because, like, I mean, so it's, like, they're probably coping a little bit by being together and, like, hanging out. They feel like they're the only two people. But if you're as close to this guy, like, where it's increasing is, like, they're posting, like, these pictures together. And I get the song, but there's ways to do it without being so... In a front, in my well, mind, like, to you. I think, I think from their, for their point of view, it's like, Mads already went out publicly, he said a bunch of shit. So then it's like, now people are just going to build assumptions on it. So they, they either have the choice of like setting the narrative themselves or having other people set it for them. Mm-hmm. So it's like, they're just going to come out and be like, here it is. That is true. You know what I mean? Like, not, they're the kind of left shit. in a weird spot. But that's the same shit. I would have, yeah. like, I, if I'm, I'm left to let other people make a narrative or make it myself, I'm just going to make it myself. Sure. Sure, but I mean, from what we think or seem, like Mad seems, and I listened to the Call Her Daddy clip, 100% truthful, like I believe what she's saying. They're just confirming to my mind her narrative and you're being like super nice, basically, and like, well, Jaden was like one of my best friends. I love Nessa in the best way, which is maybe not, that's probably way healthier than like the way I'd handle it, which is like, <laughs> Same. fuck Same. these yeah. people, <laughs> like, all right. I was like ready to kill someone Yeah, you, and yeah. like, yeah, I was mad for you, and you're taking it in a super healthy, like, I'll, I'll take them for their word, and, and it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, it's like, you can't really just like, I, at least for me personally, I can't just like flip a switch off from like caring about someone so much to not. So it's like, even though this is like a, a situation, obviously, I don't think anyone wants to be in. I'm never gonna be like wishing bad things happen to either of them. I'm I'm always just gonna be like along for the rest, supporting like having them kill it, do whatever. Kimmel, Ellen, like fuck yeah. I'm never gonna be like the guy that's like being malicious and like we should fuck them. We should do this. We should do that. And in mm-hmm. fact, like. I've been telling people like, bro, I appreciate everyone like fighting for me and like saying stuff. But like, like I said in my tweet, it was like, I want to have this shit offline. Like, I, I, I can do this myself. Like, I can say shit. <laughs> and so, like, when you, when you comment and you comment, it's like, mm-hmm. it makes me feel great because then it's like, fuck yeah, I got people that have my back. But at the same time, it's like, now that shit's been said, I'm ready for it to like, end. Yeah, and go away. Let them fucking live their life. Don't be like fucking commenting shitty things to either of them. That's dumb. I just think like everyone's gotta push forward. That's how I feel. So when he, when he, because we did have a conversation in the past when you're like, I talked to Jade and he's like, there's nothing going on. Were you just doing that for cameras or you knew like at that point something was going on? By the way, the for the Miami shades, that's why I'm wearing these shades. <laughs> <laughs> gotta throw that in really quick. Because I touched um, them like it and they went asshole. Uh, like, was that like on the podcast? Yeah, I said that. Yeah, yeah. you're like I. I asked if you had talked to Jay, and you're like, yeah, and he assured there was. It was after the mad shit, so it's like, yeah, I talked. I think to it them. was the emergency one. Yeah, that we did. Yeah, um, I'm sure. I'm sure I had talked to them. It might have been like a little bit of me not knowing the situation, so I'm just gonna take their side type thing. Uh, but it also was probably I, 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 like I really don't remember. It's been fucking crazy the last like three weeks. I, my mind's all over the place. You still have him blocked on everything? Never blocked him. I don't know oh, he why. He made that up? Yeah. My phone was dead. Who, with like, Jaden? Remember at the table, I was like, I was like, my phone's been dead for like five hours and all the shit yeah, is going down. And <laughs> all the crazy stuff was happening. And it was like, I, I couldn't even get on my phone. So I think what was happening, like, I guess text messages go green yeah, right, when that happened. Probably. So they were like, I think they both thought I blocked them. But I, I, I'm also a firm believer that, it, it, again, they're in a very strange situation, those two, because they're singing a song together and doing all this work in studio. But... And I've said this about the TikTok people in general, you guys included and the Sway House and all of this. It's like, well, they're my best friend and I know them, but it's like, it's not somebody I grew up with in, you know, you played sports in elementary school and you've known your whole life. And yeah. these are people you guys got thrown together relatively quickly. Mm-hmm. So maybe when you say guy code, there's not the loyalty there's not, of somebody yeah. that you're like, well, I spent my whole fucking life. I know his family. I know everything about this dude mm-hmm. where... Yeah, but no, yeah, I mean, not only that, but like, if you do it to your homies back home, they know your parents, and like, you know, it's like a weird like circle. Like, it would just be complete humiliation. Yeah. Here, it's like a free for all. Half the parents don't even know what's going on. Like, there's not a lot of accountability, besides like what, it, besides your own like 
And, and my point with Jay, not to keep going in on him, because things happen, you're put in a spot, but you also have to let yourself, like, be open for that in a way, like, mentally. Like, if that's my best friend and there's something going on, it's like, all right, I got to, like, chill. That's, like, my best friend's girl or however it is. So I guess it's the next question. You're not going to root against them. Very different, you and I. Good for you. I'd root fucking against I was going to say, man, you are. <laughs> You're making me want to be a better person, really. <laughs> and, and, and I do believe you. The cameras are on. I feel like off camera, you're a little more honestly like, oh, this fucking sucks. Yeah. But, like, will you ever be friends with him again? Like, would you say he's your friend? Uh, um, I don't know. That's like a, that's like a hard question to answer. I, I, I like... It's kind of like going back to what I said. Like it's 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 hard to say like fuck you to the or like I like because that's just not true. That wouldn't be true either. But it's also like if I'm like yeah, I still I'm fucking I'm so happy with them. I wouldn't right. you know what I mean? It's like it's kind of as confusing. And I'm sure they're in like the same boat against me or they're in the same boat. See, that's me. where I that's the thing that why I've gotten more aggressive because if they felt how you felt towards them, they wouldn't be flaunting it, and they're fucking flaunting it. That's what like gets me the most is like there's not. You know what? Like, hey, Josh is my best friend. Nessa, I still love Josh the way you talked about it. Let's fucking show a degree of, like, dignity and do shit when there's no cameras around and not go to dinner and all this shit. That would be, for me, it's like, oh, you're going to be this public? Well, now it's coming. Like, that would, that's the thing, because I think there is a point there. Everyone's young, you fall in love or like who you like, and there's not yeah. anything you can do to stop that. But there is a decorum in my mind of respect to you, which they haven't shown, unless there's things that I don't know, which that's what Jaden sort of hinted, like, I don't know, he said something in his... He said that me and Josh had spoken, we, so we I don't did know why talk, he Like, we did talk, and, uh, yeah, I didn't block him. That but was, everything, was we, just, everything yeah. we, we hit you with here, that we, that, and it sucks, it's like, oh, they made out, or oh, this video, I can tell you're caught off guard, you're like, Whoa, what? Like, so that's the part. It's like it, my vibe, as honest as it can be, is like you're clearly not as in the loop. Well, as I think that's kind of like a it. little bit on purpose, mm -hmm. right? It's like I, I just don't care. Like, I'm like done with it. So it's like I'm not trying to be on my phone, like yeah. looking at fucking hashtag Josh Richards and searching all this shit that's like talk about me. I'm like, put my phone away. I don't really go on it. I think I've like texted my parents, called them. Then I answered like Michael and Griff. 